Hey guys, what's going on? Some random Irish guy here. This game right here is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It, this is probably one of the worst games for the NES. In fact, I think it actually is the worst game for the NES. A lot worse than Action 52, a lot worse than Bible games, or anything that's Cinemasque or Angry Video Game Nerd related. And I'm not copying off anyone, but this game deserves to die. I mean, I don't care what anyone says, this game is a piece of shit. So that's why I'm going to do the right thing and send it off to its grave. Now, of course, to do that, we're going to run through some test tests. So this is test number one. I'm going to be making some upcoming videos in the later few weeks of various tests to see not only how you can destroy an NES game, but also to see how tough they are. Test one is going to be... BB guns, and I'm going to use three different BB guns. I'm going to use my M1911 Colt, courtesy of my video of Black Ops. I'm going to use my Steyr SSG bolt action sniper rifle. And, last but not least, my newest recruitment, I'm going to use my M14 courteous of full auto electric Call of Duty Black Ops gun with a full magazine of 300 BBs. Full auto machine gun. The Steyr SSG scope single bolt action rifle. Now with this, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get more accuracy. But whether it's damage, I have no idea. Because this is a bolt action, not gas. But who knows? So as you can see, I fired off maybe five or six rounds. Uh, good gun, by all means. But comparison to the Colt, with its gas, but following behind it, it's only a spring-loaded gun. So we've used gas, spring, up next, electric. Okay, so got my M14, Curtis Ecology Black Ops. You might know that this is one of the one of the first guns you can buy off the shelf in Kino the Totem, either that or the Olympia book. Whoever buys the Olympia, because it's shit. I'm going to use a full magazine. I'm going to start off with single shots, and then I'm going to go up to full auto shots. So, let's take a look. As we can see, the damage is well, not really that bad, actually. Uh, I'd say the Colt and the M14 did the most damage. As you can see, that's pretty much where the machine gun <laughs> action came into it. And I left a big nasty dent in this one here. Oh yeah, and I can hear some rattling, so the plastic has been ripped off. So, all in all, it's damaged enough, but the question is, does this dreaded game still work? Okay, so got power on. Going to use a top loader. Let's see if this bloody game works. Yep. 
Still works. Unfortunately, do we have audio? Again, unfortunately. All right, guys. That was part one of NES destruction slash toughness. Whatever. <laughs> part one, BB guns. Stay tuned for part two.